healing and delivering. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you for the blood. Thank you for the blood. Let's go into our message. about the church today. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. We may not shout you are done in no shouting today. Yes. But it's good to know what the church is about. Yes. Yes. Hello. Yes. Hello. Yes. Yeah. The last of folks that come to the to church and they don't know what the church stands for. All right. Somebody said, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. They don't know what the church means. Wow. They just come in the building. Yes. The building is not a church. It's a tent. Yes. Tents that hold the church. Yes. Somebody shall say glory to God. Glory to God. And the church did not start with the New Testament. The church did not start with the birth, the death, and restoration of Jesus Christ. The church was way in existence. Somebody said, praise the Lord. Oh, yes. Oh, glory to God. So when you know the meaning of the church, then you will know when the church started, you will know the reason for which we gather together. Yes. Somebody said, praise, the Lord. praise the Lord. So if you will, turn with me to the book of Acts, chapter yes. 7. And we will start with verse 38. Chapter 7, verse 38. Say, this is he that was in the church in the wilderness with the angels we speak to him in the Mount Sinai and with our fathers who received the light the oracles to give unto us. Moses in the wilderness with the church at Mount Sinai. At the time, the New Testament was not yet given. At the time, Jesus had not yet been born in the flesh. At the time, Jesus had not yet gone to the cross. At the time, Jesus had not yet resurrected. The church was in existence. Somebody said, praise the Lord. So we may not know when the church started. Because the scripture tells us in Job, when the children of God gather together, so you got to know the meaning of the church. The meaning of the church is gathering. Gathering. Convocation. Convocation means gathering. Congregation means gathering. All the call out one. One that would have been called out by God. Call out from the monks. Others. To be his. Somebody say, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Say, Lord, I thank you. Oh, thank you. In the book of Job, it mentioned that the children of God gathered together to present themselves before the Lord. It was the church then. The children gathered together. Somebody say, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, in the book of Acts, it's telling us that Moses was the leader of the church in the wilderness. Thank you. We, we just read it for your understanding. I'll read it again. Let me start with the 35th verse of Acts 
for your own stand. This Moses, whom they refused, saying, Who made thee a ruler over and a judge? The same that God sent to be a ruler and a de de deliverer by the hand of the angel which appeared to him in the bush. Then the sixth verse says, He brought them out. After that he has shown wonders and signs in the land of Egypt and in the Red Sea and in the wilderness forty years. This is thou Moses, which said unto the children of Israel, A prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto you of your brethren like unto me. Him shall ye, him shall ye hear. Yet Moses is leading the church in the wilderness. So Moses said, I may be your leader, but there's a greater one coming after me. So Moses said, I'm just occupied till he comes. <laughs> is that right? When he comes, he's the one you should listen to, not me. Can I repeat that verse once again? Yes. Moses, this is thou Moses, which said unto what? Unto whom? The children of Israel. A prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto you of your brethren. Like what? Unto me. Him shall ye hear. You can read that from Deuteronomy to verse. De Deuteronomy 18, beginning with the 15th verse. You can read that Deuteronomy 18 from the 15th verse to the 18, 15 to 18. You will get to know what Moses is talking about. One that will come after me, that will be like me, but he is the one that you should listen to. Somebody shall say, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. John testified of the same. He said, I baptize you with water unto repentance. But he that is coming after me is greater than what? Than I. Yeah. Whose shoelaces are not qualified to look, to, to, to untie. Is that right? Yeah. So Moses is also referring to Jesus Christ yeah. as well as John referring to Jesus Christ. Yeah. They are all witnessing of the same man that we should listen to, we should hear from. Somebody shout and say hallelujah. hallelujah. Say neighbor, neighbor. Jesus, is Jesus is the Christ. I will put your hands together, bless the Lord. Jesus is the Christ. So, but the church was in existence before his birth. So, are you, are you flowing with me? I said the church was in existence before his birth in the natural. Amen? Because everything was made by him. They were all set up by him. Yeah. Yeah. Then they tell the said, this is he that was in the church. In where? In the wilderness. With the angel we speak to him in Mansana. And with our fathers who received the light of the oracles to give unto him, unto us. So the church, I want you to get a clarification of the church. The reason why folks mix things up, sometimes they don't do the research for themselves. Now, the words that the, the church derived from is a Greek word. It's called ecclesia, ecclesia. E K K L E S I A Ecclesia. It's a Greek word. Where where did the word church derive from? Somebody shall say hallelujah. hallelujah. Where did the word church derive from? Yeah. The translation. And the Ecclesia were also it was also a translation from a Hebrew word. The Hebrew word is the root word. Because the Hebrew word is the root word 
where the word ecclesia derived from. And that Hebrew word is kihila, K-E-H-R-L-A-H. It's a, it's a Hebrew word that, that, that the word ecclesia derived from. But it all has the same meaning, church. The word church derived from the Greek word ecclesia. And ecclesia derived from kihila. Are you, get, are you, are you flowing with me? Yes. Somebody say praise the Lord. Lord. And the word kihila have always referred to the Israelite. Somebody shall say praise the Lord. Praise the, Lord. The, the, the original word church in the Hebrew word is kihila. Then the Greek translated into ecclesia. Now, ecclesia means church. That's why I have got the word church. Somebody say praise the Lord. Praise now, let us go further down. I want to take you somewhere. Somebody say praise the Lord. Praise Ecclesi the Lord. What does ecclesia mean? Ecclesia means gathering. Yes. Con congregation. Yes. Convocation. Oh, they call out one. I want to stay with the word they call out. Many are chosen by one. If you are called, they call out one. Somebody say, neighbor, neighbor. you and I are the call out one. Come out from the mountain and be one. Ye separated. Come out from the mountain and be sanctified to God. The neighbor, neighbor, you and I, and I are the call out one call in the out. mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. Come out from among them, be ye separated. Yes. That what the church is. That, that what is the church? Yes. The church is, is, is a separated group of people wow. that God called out to be His. Yes. Somebody shall say hallelujah. hallelujah. Many are called, but few are chosen. Right. Say, neighbor, when you look at yourself, look at yourself as the call out one. It's the Lord talking to you. Is that right? Do not just look at yourself as an ordinary person. Look at yourself, know that God has called you out from among the words. Somebody shall say hallelujah. hallelujah. The, the, the church also means caravan. C A R A V I A N. Caravan. And caravan is something that is always on the move. Somebody say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hello? Yeah. Like, Lord. like the caravan, like the many years ago they have this the, the people that that, that do the, they are circle. They carry up animals. Is that right? They carry up animals to display their talents around the country. They all were moving caravan. Is that right? Somebody shall say, Praise the Lord. So the church is considered to be caravan. That what happened to the children of Israel when they left. Egypt, they were in a caravan, moving from one country to another, moving from one city to another, the church moving from one place to another, on their way to the promised land. Say, neighbor, I'm in this caravan, on my way to the promised land. Because this earth is just a resting place for a while. We are in the caravan. The church is always on the move. Say never we are on the move. We are on the move. Hallelujah. No, 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 no. Do not, do not, do not take your, do not take your beautiful building, your beautiful temple to be your place of rest. No, the building is not our destination. Can I speak to somebody? Say neighbor. The building. No matter how beautiful 
spirit. And not my destination. I'm in this caravan to act and meet with Jesus. Say, neighbor, meeting with Jesus is my destination. Meeting with Jesus is my destination. Uh, that one, that one Moses says, Moses said, the one that coming after me, he's just the one you should listen to. He's the one you should hear. Somebody shall say hallelujah. hallelujah. John said, my goodness, John said, I'm after you with water unto repenting. But he that come after me, uh, he's the one you should listen to. Neighbor, stay in the caravan. And keep on moving. If the Lord talking to you, that's fine. Amen. So, we have become the call out one. Ecclesia means the gathering, the congregation, the convocation. So, the church is not a physical organization or location or a building. It is the gatherings of God's people. Uh, are you flowing with me? Can I take my time and teach this? Yes, yes. It's a gathering of, home of God's people. Somebody shall say hallelujah. hallelujah. Say Lord I, thank you. Lord, I thank you. The congregation of Messiah. No matter where they are in the, in the earth. Amen. No matter where we are in the church, we are gatherings of God's people. That comes together, Amen. congregate together. Uh, Hebrew 10 25 says, Do not fail to assemble yourself in the place of worship. Right, right. Come together. Yes. Is that right? Yes. How good and how pleasant it is what? For broad brain to do what? To dwell together. together in unity. Yes. Somebody say, Lord, I thank Lord, you. I Somebody say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. The church go by before the New Testament. The church go way by before Jesus. Yes. The word Ecclesia appeared in the Greek. In the Greek, it's a Greek term that means church. I just explained that to you. Somebody say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. It's saying yes, the word Ecclesia is a translation of the Hebrew Kal or Kahil. Word especially used to speak of the congregation of Israel. Yes. As it joined through the wilderness and dwell in tents on a way to throw the promised land, on their way to the promised land. Somebody shall say hallelujah. hallelujah. And we just read to you from Acts chapter 7, verse 38, about Moses leading the church yeah. in the wilderness. Somebody shall say glory to God. Glory to God. So, so I want you to understand that this church that you and I are part of did not start yesterday. Is the church that God cares about. It is God's doing. Yes. Somebody shall say hallelujah. hallelujah. So everything that we read in the Bible, that one of the things Solomon said, there is nothing new on the sun. Whatever you and I are experiencing today have already existed. Yes. Yes. Is that right? Yes. So the 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 the, the, the Israelite that was brought out, out of Egypt were set as an example for you and I yeah. that if you and I continue to travel yeah, right. in this caravan mm -hmm. and continue to be obedient to God yeah. you and I will make it into the promised land yeah. Yeah. but not everybody in the caravan will make it to the promised land All right. Amen. is that right? Because the original that came with Moses out of Egypt the original they were so disobedient and, and stuck out there, they were so stiff necked as a result they didn't make it to the promised land. Wow. 
So that was a wanderer in the wilderness for 40 long years yes. until they all die out. Mm -hmm. yes. Is that right? They all die out into the wilderness because of their disobedience to God and their, their unbelief. Yes. So the children that they born in the wilderness were the ones that made it into the promised land. Mm -hmm. So you and I are in the same caravan traveling to the promised land. But will you make it to the promised land? Will you make it to the land? That's, your, that's the question that you, as an individual, have to answer for yourself. Yeah, Is that right? Amen. You and I are in a caravan moving to the promised land. Yes. We say we are waiting for Jesus to come. Yes. But what preparation are you making for yourself right. to be able to enter the promised land? Right. Not every Jew, not every uh, Israelite are came from Egypt and it's the promised land. Yes. Is that right? And not everybody in this in the church is going to make it to the promised land. The, the Lord said, not everyone that say unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but those are what? That dwell the way of the Father. You can be part of the group, but you are doing your own agenda. Is that right? And God just don't want your appearance in the church. Yes. God just don't want your appearance yes. in the congregation. Yes. He want your all folks. Yes. 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 So never God want your all folks. God want your praise. God want your faithfulness. God wants your commitment. Unto him in the mighty name of Jesus. Is it, are you flowing in that far? Go on your commitment. Now, the children that came out of Egypt, they were catamized. They have been indoctrinated. Somebody shall say, Praise the Lord. Someone read me in Acts chapter 7, verse 22. They were so indoctrinated with the the teaching of the Egyptian. They were so indoctrinated with idol worshiping. All right. They were so indoctrinated with kind of spirit. Yes. So it was, yeah, God took one day to deliver them from Egypt. Uh -huh. But for the year, he couldn't get Egypt out of them. He took one day to deliver them from all of Egypt. Yeah. But it took 40 years. 40 years he couldn't deliver, he couldn't remove Egypt from all of their tongues. He couldn't deliver them from the teaching of Egypt. Is that right? He couldn't deliver them from the teaching of, of Egypt because they have been so indoctrinated into them that what they, they, they didn't want to let their whole lifestyle to go their way. So they get cut up into the spirit, the indulgence of Egypt, as a result, God said, I can't allow you to bring your sinful thought, your sinful thought, your sinful thinking, your sinful knowledge into my promised land. Yes, yes. Yes, Lord. For the years, they all died. Oh, okay. Now, read, uh, let me show you something. That's, the Lord just brought that to my attention. I, I, I want to take time to teach this today. Yeah. Is, is that right? Take my time to teach them for you to know what the church stands for. That's right. That's right. Hell, the church started way before Jesus came to the cross. All right. Moses, I, I consider Moses to be the first pastor of the church in the in the wilderness. Yes, we just read this Acts 7 to the 8. Uh -huh. Read it for yourself. Somebody shall say, Praise the Lord. Praise now Lord. read Acts 7 to the 2. What it says. Mm -hmm. And Moses was learned in all the wisdom of the Egyptians. And Moses learned all the wisdom of the Egyptian. Mm -hmm. And was, in, was mighty in words and in deeds. Well, it was mighty in words and in deeds of the Egyptian ways of doing things. Mm -hmm. Hello? Yeah. And when you study the time of Moses in Egypt, they were all dealing with magic. Yeah. Moses was influenced into magicians. Mm -hmm. Moses was a magician. That's the Bible, right there. Read that, you don't understand that. And Moses was learned in all the wisdom of the Egyptians. And Moses learned all the wisdom. Remember now, he was a prince of Egypt. 
education was available to him. He grew up in the, in the palace of the king. He had the best of education. Is that right? Yes. Wherever that was taught in the palace, Moses learned how to do magic. That one of the reasons God used him because he had reference to spiritual things. Yes. Uh, who the Lord talking to yeah. here? Yeah. God will not use you in an area that you know nothing about. Yeah. Is the Lord talking to somebody? Yes. God will not use you in an area that you have no reference about. Right. Moses was indoctrinated into spirituality. Yeah. Although it was not God's spirituality, it was demonic spirituality, it was magical spirituality. And these people that were following him, they all were part of the same. Mm -hmm. But more, it took 40 years for God to deliver Moses. Yes. Moses was in the palace for 40 years. Yes, Lord. Thank you. When he escaped out of the palace because of killing someone, he spent another 40 years in the wilderness all by himself, keeping sheep. And God took that 40 years to, 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 to debris him, to take the Egyptian yes. teacher away from him. Amen. Amen. God was able to work on Moses yes. for Moses to leave the old lifestyle behind. Yes. But now when he got into the wilderness for it would knock on head, yeah. they would not want to give up the whole lifestyle. Yes. Glory, 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 glory. Are you flowing with me? Yes. Somebody shall say hallelujah. hallelujah. They, they all were indoctrinated in the Egyptian way of doing things. Yes. 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 Are you flowing with me? Yes. Can I repeat that once again? Right. Moses was not left out. Moses was educated in the way of the Egyptian. Yes. Moses was a powerful magician. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thank he was. Yes. He was. I wonder what the Bible said, lay and sour. Yes. Every way and the sin yes. that may cause you to come, that may come between you and God. Yes. Moses was able to lay and sour those weights. Moses was able to lay aside the sinful nation of Egypt. Yes, but the people that he was leading, yes, hallelujah. Uh, I would not let it go. When Moses went up the mound, what did they do? They built a golden calf. Oh, yes, because yes, that was the learning in Egypt. Yes, 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 <laughs> Somebody shall say, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Because that was the learning in Egypt. That one of the reasons we have we have some all kinds of demonic forces in the church today. Because somebody grew up in a house where mama was a fortune teller. Yeah. Mama took you to fortune teller. Instead of trusting God's word, your parent indoctrinate you into all that thing. Yeah. So when you come to the church, you come with the same old thing. Uh -huh. And God is telling you, let it go. There's a lot of talking to somebody. Yes. God is telling you, let it go. I want to use you, but I can't use you. You cannot stand between two of him. Yes. If God be God, say him. Yes. Is that right? If you're going to deep step with the devil, then get out of the church yes. and hang on with the devil. Yes, 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 Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. Somebody shall say, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Moses was able to leave Egypt behind. Ah, because when you're talking about Egypt, you're talking about Jacob. Jacob, a man of flesh. Mm -hmm. Somebody say, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I so, Israel is an Ecclesia, and the church is an Israel. Israel is an Ecclesia, and the church is an Israel. You are no more Jacob, but you have become Israel, a spiritual church. No more of church of the flesh. The church that was in the wilderness represented Jacob. Jacob, a man of flesh. Is that right? Now, the church of Jesus Christ today don't worship God in Jacob, we worship God through Israel. The spiritual spirit, the spiritual church. Somebody shall say, praise the Lord. Praise say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. 
Now, turn with me into Genesis. Somebody turn to Genesis 48, verse 2. Let me show you something. Here, Jacob, <coughs> Genesis chapter 42. No, 48. Go to 48. And verse 2. Let me teach you something. Let me show you something. The mystery of this thing here. There is a mystery about a church that folks don't understand why God, why God insists on us worshiping in spirit and in truth. Yeah. Is that right? God is a spirit. They yeah. that worship in worship in spirit and in truth. Genesis 48. Somebody get it verse 2. Somebody sitting there read it quick. Everybody hear this. Mm -hmm. And one told Jacob. Read, read from verse 1. Let them all understand. And it came to pass. It came to pass. Listen to this. After these things. After these things. That one told Joseph. They told Joseph. Joseph the prince of, of, of the prime minister of, of Egypt. The father. Mm -hmm. Behold thy father is sick. Do behold your father Jacob is sick. Uh -huh. He took with him his two sons. He took his two sons. Manasseh and Ephraim. Manasseh and Ephraim. America and Great Britain. I will, I will go into that another time. Mm -hmm. And one told Jacob. And one told Jacob. And said, Behold. Behold. Thy son Joseph cometh unto thee. He had, Jacob is lying down in his bed sick. And his son Joseph is bringing his grandchildren oh. unto him to bless them. Because he's just about to die. He is at his dying bed. Jacob is at his dying bed. Oh. Listen to this. Jacob is at his dying bed. Yeah. And the prime minister is being told your father is sick. And he knew that his father was about to leave. So he came along with his two sons. That his father, would, Jacob, would bless them. Somebody shall say hallelujah. hallelujah. Now, Peter read verse 2. What happened? Mm -hmm. uh, and one told Jacob. And one told Jacob. He said, Behold. Behold. Thy son Joseph coming to thee. Your son Joseph is coming to you. Israel strengthened himself. And, and Israel did what? Strengthened himself. Strengthened himself. And sat up. And sat up. Uh -huh. Jacob was the one that was sick. Uh -huh. But Israel sat up. Oh, you don't get it. Come on, come on, come on, Bishop. Uh, uh, uh. Jacob is the one that was sick in bed. Remember, Jacob had rise up with the angel all night long. And his knee had been changed from Jacob to his way. Yeah. As long he was Jacob as a trister, as long he was Jacob living in a kind of mind, yeah. living in the flesh, yeah. he would not birth his way. Right. 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 Glory. Yes. Yes. Is that right? Till yes. he uh, rise up because when you look at Jacob's life, Jacob was a womanizer. Uh, he yes. had, come on now. Uh, Hello? Yeah. The man went for a woman for seven years. Mm -hmm. Say so he didn't get a woman, he got an older sister. Uh. He stayed around for another seven years. Who? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Then he had 12 children by four different women. Although wow. he was a womanizer, he was not birth. Uh -huh. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Hello? Until he rise up with the angel all night long. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes. And at the end of the fight, the angel disabled him. That he couldn't function anymore to go after women. <laughs> oh, you don't, you don't get it. You don't get it. So much. I don't want to go into detail, but you, you understand where I'm coming from. Yes. The angel touched his head. Yes. And he got impotent. Yes. And he couldn't go after women anymore. Yes. Is that right? He couldn't go after women anymore. Glory. And it gave room for Ezra to be birthed. Yes. Hallelujah. Because he's not dealing with the flesh anymore. Yes. He's dealing with God the Spirit. Yes. 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 Neighbor, yes. go after the Spirit, yes. not after yes. the flesh. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. 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 It's a lot coming to you. Yes. So now, here, Jacob is sick. The flesh is sick. Lying dead. Yes, Lord. And his son is coming. Yes, Lord. 
Read that in verse number so mm -hmm. verse two. Mm -hmm. And one told Jacob. And one told Jacob. And said, Behold thy son Joseph. Behold your son Joseph is coming with your grandchildren. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come up to me. Yes. And Israel strengthened himself. And Israel sat away Jacob. Jacob, you've been left behind a long time ago. Uh, thank you. Glory to God. And, and Israel sat up on the bed while Jacob was still lying down. One of the same men. One of the same men. Because Jacob had been dethroned in his life. God had delivered me from you a long time ago. But if you read that scripture, you will find out that Israel struggled to, 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 to separate from, from, from Jacob. He struggled. Is that right? I wonder why Paul said we are in wrestle every day. Every day we are wrestling the spirit and the flesh wrestling together. What I want to do, the flesh will not want me to do it. Have you ever struggled with the flesh? Oh, come on now. Whenever I want to do good, evil is present. Here, the scripture says, Israel struggled to separate himself from Jacob. Yes, but he did, he sat up, and Jacob was right there lying down. Yes, yes, one of the seamen, yes, one is in the natural and one in the spiritual. Yes, is that right? Jacob, Jacob, no, 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 no. I'm not going to bless my grandchildren with, with natural things. Uh -huh. I want to bless them with spiritual yes, things. Yes, yes. So Israel sat up. The spiritual part of Israel set out to bless his children, to bless his son, to bless his grandchildren. Because everything that is natural is temporary. It's the Lord coming to somebody. Anything that is a natural nature is temporary. Jacob is natural. And Israel refused to bless his children with the spirit of Jacob. He said, I'm going to rise up as a spirit of Israel to bless my children. The secret things belong to God. But the thing that he has revealed unto us belong unto us and our children forever. So Jacob got his revelation. But he refused to bless his children as Jacob. But he had to become an Israel. An Israel to bless his sons and his children, grandchildren. So uh, my recommendation to you is when you go to pray over your grandchildren, mm -hmm. when you go to pray over your children, yes. somebody shall say hallelujah. hallelujah. Go into prayer. Till you are spiritually yes. capable of blessing that yes. child. Yes. Do not just lay your hands on your child because you think you can just lay hands. Yes. Right. Get into the spirit. Woo! Say, no, but when you get into the spirit, it's a lot of coming to somebody. There, there are two people dwelling in you. Every one of us has two, two personalities in us. One is a godly nature and one is a demonic nature. So what part, what, what part of you, what side of you that you're blessing your children with? Are you getting your revelation? Yes. What side of you are you blessing your children with? What side of you that presenting your children to God? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. What side of you? Why do you stand between two opium? What side of you that praying to God on behalf of your family? Yes. Jacob lying in bed, his son is coming to him to bless, it, to bless him and bless the grandchildren. But it is Israel that sat up. 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 Somebody shall say, Praise the Lord. So now we are not in the wilderness. We are not in Christ Jesus. Yes, yes. If any man is in Christ Jesus, 
He's a what? He's a new creature. All things pass away. Behold, Allah, everything become new. Somebody shall say, praise the Lord. Somebody say, glory to God. And God is keep on telling you, come off and among them. And be ye separate. Then you can use my spirit to bless your children. Then you can use my spirit to heal your children. Yeah. You can use my spirit to heal somebody. Yeah. Come out from among them. Yeah. Hallelujah. It's the Lord talking to you. Along right. yes, yes, Jacob was a womanizer. Mm -hmm. He would not birth Israel. Wow. Are you hearing, brothers? Amen. Are you hearing, brothers? is enmity against God. Wow. The spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set me free from the spirit of sin and death yes. in Christ Jesus. Is that right? There is no now condemnation to anyone that is in Christ Jesus uh -huh. who walk after the spirit, not after the flesh. Yes. So Jacob left, left the flesh that Israel left the flesh to Jacob behind and said, man, flesh, you are on your way to the grave, but the spiritual Jacob shall rise. Say, neighbor, let the spirit of Israel rise in you. Are you flying with me? John John 3 and 10. Somebody read John 3 and 10. Let me show you something. Somebody read John 3 and 10. Quick. I'm trying to strengthen somebody here for you to know what the church stands for. Yeah. All right. What the church is about. Yeah. The church is, is a Caribbean. It's a spiritual Caribbean. That is moving on. Yeah. Amen. Amen. We, we are not at the promised land yet. Amen. When Jesus comes, yeah. he will take us to the promised land. Yeah. Read on song. John 3 and 30. Huh? He must increase. He must increase. But I must, but I must decrease. Yeah. John the Baptist said, I am a man of flesh. Yeah. I baptize you with water unto repenting. But the one that comes after me will baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Yeah. The Holy Ghost is a spirit. Yeah. He will baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. So as my flesh decrees, as the flesh of Jacob decrees, yes. the spiritual angel, angel must increase. Yes. Yes. As the flesh decrees, yes. as the craving of the flesh de decrees, yes. as the desire of the flesh decrees, the spiritual man in me just got to rise. Yes. 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 Let the spirit rise in you. Let the Holy Ghost rise in you. Let the Spirit of God rise in you. Uh, uh, someone, please. I'm taking you somewhere. I'm taking you home. Let me take you somewhere. Somebody shout, say hallelujah. Uh, let the Spirit of God rise in you. Somebody, please read St. John chapter 4, verses 23 and 24. Are you taking notes? Yes. Yeah. St. John chapter th chapter 4, verse 23 and 24. Somebody read that. Mm -hmm. But the hour cometh. But the hour has come. And now is. And now is the time. Not yesterday. But now is the hour. Huh? When the true worshippers. When the true worshipper shall worship the Father. Shall worship God. In spirit and in truth. Spirit and in truth, not in the flesh. Uh -huh. Not in the flesh. Amen. Now is the time for the true worshiper to worship God in spirit, spirit and in truth. Yes. When the time came for Jacob to rise up and bless his children, he blessed his children in the spirit, yes. not in the flesh. Yes. Yes. Right. Is a setup. To bless the children. Yes, now is the time. Now read this the 24 verse. Now listen to this. Mm -hmm. I'm right there. For the father seeks to search the word. For the father, listen to this. That's the only time that we find in the scripture. 
the only time we find the whole Bible that God is seeking for something. Uh, uh, read it. Read it again. <laughs> for the Father does what? For the Father seeketh. The Father God seeks for what? Such to worship him. Such to worship him. Who is he seeking? He is seeking those that are going to worship him in spirit and in truth. That's the only time in the Bible that God is seeking for something. Uh, This is not talking to you. That's the only time in the Bible that God is seeking for something. God is seeking for those that will worship you in spirit and in truth. There is no other thing that he wants but to seek you, to worship him, because he wants you to be like him. Oh, God, say neighbor. God wants you to be like him. He is a spirit, and they that worship him my worship in spirit and in truth. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. That's the only time God is seeking for something. He's seeking for his children. That would be on the same level with him. That would think like him. Because God desires a family. God is a family man. Say neighbor. God is a family man. He wants for his children to be like him. Move like him. Communicate with him. Somebody shout, say hallelujah. hallelujah. That's what he meant for us when he placed Adam in the garden. He wants us to be like him. That he will come in the cool of the evening to sit with us in our place of blessing. Ah. Uh, to sit with you in your home. Yes. To sit with you in your garden. Yes. Somebody shout say hallelujah. hallelujah. He said, I can visit my daughter. Yes. Because she looks just like me. Yes. When I look at her, I don't see nothing different. Yes. I'm visiting my son. He is in the spirit like yes. me. Somebody shout say hallelujah. hallelujah. He is in the spirit like me. Yes. He acts like me. Yes. He thinks like me. Oh, yes. He walks like me. Yes. He has my DNA. She has my DNA. Somebody shouts the Lord, I thank you. I want to be you. I want to be like you, Lord. I want to be like you, Lord. I want to be like you. I want to be like you. So you give, you give, you give attention to the spiritual part of you. Somebody shouts, say hallelujah. You give attention. So Israel is the Ecclesia. The church is an Israel. As an Israel joining through the wilderness. That is the mystery. That is the mystery I just explained to you. Hallelujah. Oh glory to God. Israel joining through the wilderness. And that is the mystery. Somebody shall say hallelujah. hallelujah. Oh, glory to, glory to God. The caravan. Hallelujah. The church is the, the Kahila. A caravan. Yes, an Israel of spirits. Yes. Are you an Israel of spirits? Right. Somebody shall say hallelujah. hallelujah. Say, Lord, I thank you. Thank you. We are not yet at home. Say neighbor, we are not yet at home. We are in the caravan. We are on the move. Always moving. Hallelujah. Father away from each other. Is that right? We are always moving. Father away from each other. Father away from my ancestral thinking. Hallelujah. We are moving far away from our traditional thinking. Somebody shall say hallelujah. I am moving far away from the ways, the thinking of the society. Somebody shall say hallelujah. The Bible says, have this man in you, but also in Christ. The man that worships God. Yes. The man that pleases God. Yes. The man that wants to do God's will. Yes. Yes. Some of the shall say hallelujah. hallelujah. Say Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank Always, you. Moving. Always moving. 
Paul went farther than way and way from the mountain and closer to the promised land. Somebody shall say hallelujah. Say neighbor, I'm moving. Closer to the promised land. Glory to God. I'm moving every day of my life. Can I have a head now? Every day of my life. I'm pressing my way. Leaving those things behind me. Pressing my way onto the mark of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Somebody say yes, Lord. I can hear. Somebody say yes, Lord. Say me.
Everybody say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So when you are in a position to lay aside every sin and every weight, every then position yourself to grow in the Lord yes. by the Spirit. I, I, I give you a, a, a powerful revelation. Don't pray over your children with a kind of spirit. Yes. What till you are getting? What till you are in the spirit? Oh, yes. Yes. It's a lot for me to somebody. Jacob gave us the secret is belong to home, belong to God. But things that he has revealed unto us belong to us and our children forever. Yes. Jacob yes. refused to bless his children at Jacob. Thank you. Thank you. In Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. What do you want in the spirit? Yes. 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 What, what do you anger society? Praise God. Praise God. Your frustration subsides. Who the Lord talking to? Yes, Lord. Thank you. Do not let the sun to go down on your anger. No, God, no, God is not stopping you from from being angry. You can get angry, but don't sin. Hello. If you're gonna pray for. If you are one of those that have been called out to pray for people, oh, all right. you don't do it when the spirit of anger is in you. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Unless, listen to this, unless it is the righteous anger. You show what I mean by righteous anger. Righteous anger is when you are in the the, the front of the body. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And you know the devil is coming after someone that God wants you to deliver. <laughs> oh, you don't know. Hallelujah. That's right, your anger. Yes, Lord. That's right, your anger. There are lots of things that we at church goers we do blindly. All right. Thank you, Jesus. And we are expecting results. Yes, sir. And God has the rules and regulations. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My people perish because of what? Lack of the Lord talking to. And God is keeping, they keep on telling us, I have given you some secret in the Bible. Search it out. The secret is belong to God, but things that he has revealed what? Belong unto us and our children. If you cannot find a secret to your deliverer in the Bible, then keep on praying till he gave you vision. All right, all right. Keep on praying till he gave you deliverance. Yeah. Yeah, keep on praying till he gave you the dream. Yeah. I just go about doing it. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Somebody said, praise the Lord. Keep on doing it. Keep on praying. Keep on talking to him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then he can send his angels to you to show you what to do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or through the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. By dreams. Yeah. 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 Or through the Holy Ghost. Yeah. By dreams and by visions. Our weapons, listen to this, our weapons, plural, not just weapons, but weapons of warfare is that kind. Thank you, I hope you got your message today. Yeah. Somebody said, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The church is a spiritual house. Hallelujah. We are not talking about today convocation. Where well, they gather together to, to become beer drinkers and yeah. taking each other to a hotel. And, come on now. Uh, boyfriend and girlfriend going to. No. Convocation means holy. Holy convocation. Yeah. Yeah. Holy gathering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 
Mm -hmm. Now, the convocation that shouldn't be the place where you go with a woman or a man. Because right. of some of their agenda, wow. they are going to look for a church sister mm -hmm. or a church brother. Wow. Pastor mm -hmm. becoming a mass maker. Hey, yeah, no. Wow. If God don't give him the revelation that you and he belong together yeah. forgive. I'm not, not going to be a match maker for you. Yeah, right. But I want to know what pastor said to him now. You've got to want to keep him there. Oh, he's a good man. Mm. But you don't know the man's history. Yeah. Amen. Wow. Oh, she's a good woman. You don't know her history. Wow. Amen. Because they, they pretend it before you that come. Uh -huh. You don't want to hear the truth. That's the truth. Speak it. Know that background. That's right. That's right. The convocation of congregation should not be a place of marriage making. That's right. But a lot of pastors do in that. Wow. Somebody say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The church should be a place where the people come to learn. Have to serve God in right. Yes. Yeah. Amen. 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 Somebody play that, my brother. Go. Play with First Samuel chapter twelve. First Samuel three for me. First Samuel chapter twelve, verse Samuel three. Anybody got it? Get in the spirit, faith, healing, just to God in Christ. Then we can do some great things for God. Amen. Get in the spirit. Then you can bless your children. Yes. You can bless your, your, your business in the spirit. Yes. You can walk on your business, bro, in the yes. spirit. Yes. And demon will start fleeing. Amen. Amen. Get in the spirit. There's a lot talking to somebody. Yes. Our I, 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 I Lord Jacob was a woman now. He will not birth Israel until the angel touched him and made the impotent. Then Israel came out. The whole nation of people did for one reason when they come out. Whole nation of people couldn't come out of him because of one thing. The woman has it. I say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Your pastor directed the pardon for girlfriends. Wow. You know that's the truth. <laughs> you know that's the truth. Wow. This thing have a form and fashion. I can demon a friend of you, you are going to bear with a woman for the dance. That's right. <laughs> y'all don't, don't get it. Y'all don't get it. You don't get it. Yeah. Something. That one that was one of something wicked points. Uh -huh. And that was brought him down with me. Yes. When God put you and him together, you you and her together. Not to say the demon will not come after y'all, but every present situation God got a way to deliver. And he put you and him together. Yes, that no man put a sin that what God put, put together. Yes. Somebody try and say hallelujah. hallelujah. Let me tell you. Let me tell you a story. This, this happened to me. Personal spirit. Listen to this. Bro, listen to this, bro. Listen to this. It happened to me personally. Y'all listen to your pros pros prospective husband and wife. Y'all listen to this. My uncle that raised me from two weeks old, he had a wife. The wife in the bed. He and that woman raised me. I am a natural lefty. But that woman did not want me to be a lefty and to use my lefty. 
so she fools me and I only use my right hand. Oh yes, she fools me. She will not let me use my right hand. I was born with what they call sleep, sleep sickness, where you get to sleep. I will not sit up for long, just go to sleep. You know what that woman did? For a whole year, she would put me between her legs. For a whole year, that woman would put me between her legs. Every, one, every time I wanted to sleep, she knocked my head. She knocked my head. She had the screw left on body. Amen. No medication. Amen. America has too much of medication. If I were here in America, they would have drugged me up. But I would not put me between her legs for a whole year as a child. She would not let me sleep. And finally, God answered her prayer. That demon left my back. But why is this story? My uncle wanted a child so much. So he left the woman. After almost 30 years of marriage, wow. he left the woman. He go after a young girl. And as soon as he left the woman, he started going down here. He lost everything. The home, the young girl that he brought on board to be his wife, she herself couldn't have. And she started messing around with other men thinking that she would get pregnant. Hello? And she ended up separating, ended up separating from that woman. And he never married again until he left this world. Bishop, why are you telling me this story? Then no man put a son that what God put together. Did God bring you together? It's not about how you look. It's not about where you're from. But when God makes that spiritual connection, when God makes that spiritual con connection, and you start and start to bless both of you together, don't met, don't don't bring down your empire. No matter what stick with it. God blessing you and him, you and all together. What are you, you what are you, you have a higher income than the others? But do not think about the income, think about the other good things. Say, look, hey, come on now. It's a lot of talking to somebody. Do not think about the income. What God put together, no man put a send. Why would you bring split between your between your empire? God building you up, building your empire up. When you were struggling together, you used to argue. But you still hang out with each other. When you were struggling to make it, man, there was some friction. But you are still still together. But now God blessing you all, so somebody gonna have a, a proud spirit. You gonna allow for the devil to bring pride in your family. Then when you split, they might tell you your empire is coming down. Because you split the spirit. You bring division in the spirit. You bring division in the family. You were not looking at the bigger picture. You were looking at come on now. That what marriage don't last in hell. And I learned that from my uncle. I learned from other people's mistakes. No matter what my wife I go through, honey, the Lord took me 50 years of marriage. Hello. She did to us past. No matter what she went through, I stand by. I, I always ask myself the question, if the she were on the other foot, would she stand by me? And I believe she would stand by me. What I'm talking about? Look how God put us together. It's not, it's not a, come on now. Come on now. 
It's not about how much I'm making. It's not about how much I'm making. It's about the spiritual, come on now, the spiritual dimension. I look at other things that God is doing through all. I look at other good things. Don't, don't base your, your feeling on the negative. Look at the good thing God has done through your marriage, through your connection. Look at the other good things. God is lifting you above your fear, your friends. Yeah. What the hell are you think some nigga will come up between you because he, he, he can sweet talk to you? Yeah. Hello? Yeah. This is about playing your family tree. That someday, because of your obedience to your marriage, because of your obedience to God, to take care of what he blessed both of you with, y'all will grow old and one day y'all will sit down on the tree and your grandchildren playing around you. Amen. Our great grandchildren coming to visit you. Amen. Jimmy Carter and his wife been together for over 75 years. And come on now. 75 years. Do you think it will always sunshine? Uh, don't mess up your blessing. Don't mess up your empire. Don't be patient with one another. That's why it's good to come to church. It come to come. It's good to come to church for the Spirit of God to work with both of you, to work with you guys. It's good to come to church to hear the word of God. It's good to come to church for the Spirit to empower both of you. And get come on now. This is a spiritual word, see? Yes. We are spirit in the flesh. Yes. This is a spiritual word. Yes. Yes. Somebody say, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Have you ever heard the, the, the comedian, well, Simba? Yes. Have you heard Simba's story? Simba was married to a beautiful woman for over 15, 16 years. Then he started making money, started swimming the ladder. And said when he found out his wife was not beautiful, he didn't know he was inside. But she was putting her own weight. How fat he was. Gonna go out below my father. Then he left that woman. So it was the last, it was the, the worst 10 years of your life. After 10 years, you had to go back to bed because the real married home. Wow. And things started to come together. Mm -hmm. Same day, you know, you're, you're comedian, same day. Yeah. That's the truth. Is he still alive? Follow the history. I mean, other than your own mouth. Don't let the devil come between you and your work. God put you together, blessed together. To bless you, God, together. Yes, God. Don't forget each other and pray for each other. It's the Lord talking to somebody. Yes, 